ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, welcome back to Mercury Poultry Farms with me. See what he's so in this. Hard start from scratch. Econ hard economic difficulty. Let's play series. I completely botched that intro, but never mind. We'll carry on. It's a new morning. It's a new day. The frustrations and the struggles of yesterday are behind us. <laughs> That field was a nightmare. If you watched the last video and saw me struggling with that field, you know, fair play to you. God, that was so frustrating. How, why that didn't work. Why I was struggling to harvest that field. But what's even worse is before I started recording this video today, I thought I would reload a backup save of this map. And basically just record the issue I had harvesting that field to um, basically maybe submit it as a bug report to um, Giant. So I basically went into the... I loaded up the backup save game and basically I bought myself the standard crone, the Stevie crone, and another crone I got. I think this is a... Um, is it Gamelink? Gamelink on modhub.us so I bought all three for it all three identical harvesters and I then bought the standard vanilla in-game x-disc 620 I then bought the Spartan and obviously I bought the um, the Stevie Stevie um, header um, and basically I did a test where I basically tried to harvest this field with all three machines and you won't believe it, all three of them harvested it perfectly fine this time. There was no stuttering, there was no patchy missing bits of grass anywhere. It all worked perfect. All three, all three of them, so it must have just been some issue with loading up the map last night. That's all it could be. That's the only, only explanation I can come up with as to why this thing, why the the forage mower just wasn't working yesterday it must just be some kind of random glitch on low i probably if, if i probably exited the game and restarted it last night chances are i wouldn't have had the problem <laughs> it, the problem would have gone away but i just persevered on and on and on to get the video recorded and um That was the issue, right? I've got one pallet of eggs to sell today. I sold off the other ones last night, the ones that were giving me the no more space for new pallets at um, chickens. In fact, I sold off all the eggs apart from this one. This was the only pallet I couldn't pick up last night. But as I had the wool to do this morning, I figured I might as well grab, bring this one pallet down, the one that I missed, and. Um, do you know what? I'm going to deliver. I'm not going to deliver these to the spa. I'm going to deliver these to the um, sawmill. Not sawmill. Garden center. Oh, does it go through this cell point? Does indeed. Perfect. Right. As I say, it is a new day in the game. I've gone through the night. We got field um, thingy bob. Um, field 60 and the little field next to it joined together yesterday. Um, I have done a little bit of work off camera. I know people are like, oh cheats cheats um but no i've not done any cheating i just did what i um said i was going to do off camera uh yesterday um what i have done oddly enough i have bought field 45 but as i say i completely grassed it and it's got me little cherry picker it's got me little orchard buildings on um, I have removed trees from here because I am going to be joining this field 45 into 47 
the 47. I'm going to be plowing, put, joining those two together today. Um, I've also removed... I've also now own field 39 here. And I'm probably going to plant grass on this field because I want another grass field purely and simply because we need hay for the sheep as well as obviously grass for the um, um, uh, TMR that we're we are now in the business of making or going to be possibly in the business of making. I will be selling that trailer load of TMR today to check. Um, I removed all the trees from this bit of land so obviously now I can extend field 31 and join it into field 38 and 37 to make a big awesome uber field um, and that's about it really um, I was thinking of making another slight change and joining field um, 48 and 49 to 37 and 38 by plowing up this bit of land in between them and then the path that currently runs between the two fields I was actually going to reroute and do from down here because it seems a bit silly at the minute that people drive through my farm if they follow this path so what I was going to do is I was going to extend this pathway uh, and basically just run the path down here and basically this little bit of field this little wedge of field this odd little sh bit of shaped field I was going to get rid of, do away with altogether, put a bit of flat land on it, and then I was possibly going to look at maybe adding cows to this map. I know we're all adding some more chicken pens, as it is supposed to be the poultry farm, and there's a sign somewhere that says poultry farm, or should say poultry farm, somewhere around here. <laughs> so I was thinking of... Um, I'm chucking some more chicken pens on this bit of land then because obviously what I'm going to lose a bit bit of the field here by doing that but I hope to gain it back what I lose I hope to gain more back by having this as a field but I'm not 100% decide, decided on that change yet um, people will have to let me know down in the comments what to think of that one I will hang fire doing it until I've listened, listened to and seen everybody's feedback. Right, well I am, as I say, we're going to go and sell the um, TMR now, which I didn't quite have time to fit into the, to the last episode. Just to check and see whether TMR is a, a profitable um, thing for us to sell on this map how much money we get from TMR and whether it's worth doing it or whether I just carry on doing the old fertiliser and everything um, so I think we're Hel Helgi's over here so Helgi can grab the TMR I think it, it's okay we've had a couple of um, mod updates as well last night um, the fuel production, um, fertilizer production, seed production, and I think the silage production building here um, have all been updated by Farmer Shuby. They're now on version 1.5. I'm not sure if I am using them on this save or not. I know I updated them on my server last night. Um, but I can't remember if I've updated them for this game. These might still be using the old buildings. <laughs> the 1.03 version of the buildings. But if we are... Not to worry. It's not going to make too much of a difference. It's just some performance improvements, which, like I say, is important for people running servers because obviously you don't want any lag or anything being generated on a server. But on a single player game, I've never noticed any performance issues with the buildings up till now. So 
on my PC it seems to handle those buildings quite fine so any refinements or optimization he's done to the script probably wouldn't affect me in single player it's probably more beneficial for people running servers with lots of players and lots of those buildings but I'll be giving them a tr I'll be firing up the server later on today to have a look at the map and obviously to see where it is for to, uh, the weekend um, like I say and I'll see if the buildings are working properly and we haven't lost any of our stored crops and stuff because I upgraded the mods obviously mid game and I'm I made a few slight alterations to the mods as well. I changed a few things in the um, XMLs. I changed the names. I didn't like the German names for the um, buildings. Diesel or whatever it is. Some of these mods. Let me just pull over out of the way for a second. Because they all have foreign foreign names, don't they? No, I have update oh I have updated them then. Diesel production, fertilizer production. I haven't done that one because that wasn't updated. I haven't done that one because it wasn't updated. Um, that one wasn't updated. Seed production has been updated. So, silage fermenting station has. So, I've changed the names. You see, I've put English names on them. So, I have actually updated them on this map. So, I'll be able to test and see whether they're working then before I go on my server. Won't I? And see whether we're all right. I might get a bacon sandwich from the nice snack lady over there in a minute when I come back. I might also, if I'm going to be down at the animal dealer, I might grab a trailer of manure to bring back. Um, for the sole purpose um, that I haven't obviously been making any digestate the last couple of days. And I could really do with a um, do with filling up the fertilizer building a bit and keeping that going, keeping that ticking over. Like I say, we'll drive down here. And like I say, this is because somebody has left several comments on several of the Mercury Farms videos that I've uploaded saying, make TMR. TMR makes loads of cash on this map. So I'm going to see if on hard difficulty start from scratch hard economic difficulty tmr is the uh, the big money maker that this 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 guy keeps claiming and seriously cars you're going to keep crashing into me so let's see let's see how much money the uh Fifty-five grand for an eighty thousand litre trailer of TMR. You reckon that's a big money maker, Mr. Comment Lever? I don't. I reckon a trailer eighty. Oh, what I'll do is I'll get eighty thousand litres of fertilizer now. When I go back to the um, go back to the farm. And I'll bring 80,000 litres of fertiliser down and sell at the garden centre. And um, you tell me which one makes the most money, which one is more sensible, more profitable. <laughs> Bearing in mind, it's cost me 250,000. It's cost me 250000 because I've had to buy... I've had to buy the TMR making building for one hundred and twenty-five grand, And I also bought the silage fermenting station for one hundred and twenty-five grand To um, be able to make the TMR. So I spent 250000 on buildings and I only made 50 grand. Let's double check that. 58,255. So I'm just slightly, you know, I'm just slightly out under 200 grand out of pocket.
I am. You know? What am I about? Hundred and, I'm still a hunt about a hundred and ninety-two thousand pounds out of pocket from putting in those buildings. That doesn't even factor in buying the loading wagon to collect the straw that I had to do. Because obviously I had no way of picking up. So I had to buy a loading wagon. That cost me money. That cost what, 131,000 or whatever it was. I'm not sure if TMR is the way to go, people. I don't think that was altogether very profitable. I'll check pig food as well. I think pig food is more profitable than TMR and only requires me to have canola. I don't have to muck about with any other crops. Whereas obviously, to do TMR, I need to be making crops that can produce straw. I need to have grass so I can produce hay and silage. So it's going to increase my workload to make TMR and I'm not seeing, I'm not didn't see the um didn't see the return i didn't see the big bucks flying so um i don't doubt tmr can be profitable i think tmr probably could be profitable but i think that's probably for someone playing on easy mode on new farmer on easy economic difficulty maybe possibly normal normal mode normal economic difficulty probably still new farmer maybe possibly farm manager mode but certainly on the difficulty that i've got this game saved on it's it's just it's not it's not a thing <laughs> it's not a thing people sorry I'll grab some fertilizer. I'll take a, a trailer of fertilizer down to the um, down to the store. I will switch tractors though because this one's being a bit slow. I might let this one start seeding actually. Might let one of the um Might let one of the bods Dolores or Doug or whatever. In fact actually, no, Helgi should be the one flipping seed in. I'm gonna let Helgi do seed I'm gonna move Helgi over and let him do seeding. I can get him to start putting the uh, canola back on this field. Because this is the uh I'm sure this is the smaller one of the two tractors. I'll need to find my big tractor in a minute. See, I've only got the one seeder. Mm, this is where that 12 meter horse jobby could come in useful. Well, I might need a little bit of fertilizer in it. And I'm also gonna have to go find a big tractor. Yeah, I think it's part, it's on the loading wagon, isn't it? That's where he is. Uh, what we got there? We've got a bit of lime. Oh, we'll use up some of these. Little bags of seed that were left over from another job. Well, I'll get some fertilizer in here. We don't use a lot of fertilizer in the cedars, but Makes sense just to top it off because that field is a little bit bigger now. Okay, I think you just get you just get the auto start thing on that. Okay, that's interesting then. You get auto start. Originally, you could choose what to take out of the silo. As long as it hadn't been converted yet, you could take out manure, slurry, 
digestate, you know, whatever you want. But I think, I think um, he's changed it, so you can't now. Once you drop material in, the only thing you can get out of the silo is the finished product. Because I know a lot of people were using it as a... Um, Um, we're using them as storage silos. For example, fertilizer and seeds. Um, so I've got the choice of fertilizer and can I get fer if I go over here and it's got two types of material in, does it give me the option? To unload what I want, or does it only give me the option to un to load? I see, he's taking it away now. He's taking the option away. So you can't use these silos to store material in if it's been, been converted. Okay. Right, well, I need to go down to the store now then to sell this 60,000 litres of um, seed. <laughs> So that's the cha that's one of the changes. You can't use the um, silo. They can't use those production buildings as silos now. Just randomly storing your excess seed and because you can't get the seed, you can't get your crop back out. So if there's no fertilizer in there, I could store crops in it. Can't do that now. I'm in the wrong place. I'm in the garden center. Um, and that. Uh, if there was no crops in there, I could store fertilizer in there. Can't do that now. It only stores the finished product. Mm. I suppose you could fix that. You could fix that. You could go back into the mod and turn off the um, auto start flag. Set that to false so you could have the option of loading your um, materials in situ sort of thing. There we go. So we sell the seed. The seed should get us quite a bit of money. Seed is already more profitable than TMR. <laughs> Bearing in mind this is only a 60,000 litre trailer, so it's 20,000 litres less in this trailer. But I'm making a heck of a lot more money. Hundred and sixty six thousand. So nearly three times, nearly three times as much money for seed for twenty thousand liters less of seed. I've made money. I mean, imagine seed should cost more than TMR. Yes, I will go do the fertilizer. The fertilizer test was the big one, and possibly the pig food test, wasn't it? That's what we were going to look at. So yeah, that's one thing that's very important. If you are going to make comments and leave feedback on videos saying, oh, you need to do this, do that, because it does, it makes this much, or it does this, or it does that. Please just double check that you're using the same settings as me. <laughs> the same settings in game, because that's clearly not the case. Because that, I definitely didn't make enough money from the TMR. 
How much pig food is in here? So I can only get the pig food out the back. I imagine I expected that. Right, I've only got 41,000. Um, I'll take the 41,000 litres of pig food. That's half, roughly half of the um, TMR. And we can check to see how much, because we can always double, double the figure. Whatever we get for this pig food, we can double it and that will give us the equal amount. Although, yeah, it would, wouldn't it? Because it would be 80,000 then, or just slightly over, to see how much pig food compares to TMR. Is pig food more profitable than TMR? I've got a feeling the pig food is more profitable than TMR. The magic number, obviously, we're looking at is 58,000, so I need this to be about what? Um... 28,000 litres, 28 and a half grand for this, 29 maybe, 29 grand. Twenty-nine grand. That's what I'm looking for. I want twenty-nine grand for this 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 trailer load to, for it to be the same value as TMR. If it's over twenty-nine grand, pig food is worth more. I'll bring this load in. So the pig food's going out. Let's have a look, see how much we get for it. Oh, I think it's already well and truly beaten TMR. Just looking at that, it's nearly passing 900 grand. 900 grand. And it's still going. Still going. Hundred and seventeen thousand I got for half as much pig food. So that's near that's that's effectively double. Pig food is double what TMR is. Maybe more, because I had less. I had half the as much trailer. So 80, 80, 000, a full 80,000 litre trailer would have been about 230 grand. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm not going to be wasting too much time on TMR going forward. I mean, I suppose I might as well keep making it now because I've got, I've invested in all the buildings and stuff, but honestly, it's not something that was really worth me doing, worth me spending my time doing. It does mean now that obviously when I do me, me wheat, oat and barley harvest to get the, um, the crop to make seed, that I can invest in, um, I, can, I might as well drop the straw now, pick that up, and use that for making TMR. It does mean I've got to make more silage, because obviously the silage going into the um, fertilizer station is um, the silage going into the BGA makes me money. The digestate I get as the waste product from processing the silage. I can turn into fertilizer, I can sell the fertilizer to make money. So I get two bites of the pie basically, doing it that way. Whereas if I make silage for TMR, I'm only gonna get whatever the TMR sells for. I'm not gonna get the digestate and I'm not gonna get the fertilizer. So, and if the, 
slurry if the tmr sells for less than what the um, bga pays for the silage which honestly looks like it could also be a case i think the bga pays slightly more for silage than that animal dealership was paying for tmr so i will um i will have to double check things in future You know, I appreciate people leaving comments and feedback, but, um... Right, Dolores is here. Where's the, um, big tractor? Over here. Uh, we can close that now. We don't need that. She's finished doing the loading wagoning. Because I was using, I, I used course play. I set up a brief, quick course play course last night just so she could load in wagon. And that's, I think, how I'm going to do it going forward. Every time I harvest a field, I'm going to set up a course play course for the harvester. And then, obviously, Dolores can be um, loading wagoning then, following the same course as the harvester. Did I fill the BGA? Did the BGA get a little bit too full? I think it did. Right. Next test then. Seeing as we're in test mode today. <laughs> um, what does a trailer of 80,000 litres of fertiliser get me? We'll have a drive down to the shop. We'll tip the fertilizer. 80,000 litres of fertilizer. And again, we'll see what the shop pays for fertilizer. Or the garden centre, should I say. And then we'll come back, we'll grab the um, big cultivator and we'll start chopping up some fields. <laughs> start chopping up fields now I've got enough money to buy that planter and I'm gonna buy another tractor decided I want three at least three tractors I want another big powerful tractor so I've got something that can pull trailers loading wagons and I also want one that can pull obviously slightly bigger uh, planters cedars and I also want one that maybe could pull a slightly bigger plow just again for the future because if I need to start plowing some of these fields after I've made them into big super duper awesome uber fields um, a six meter plow ain't going to probably cut it for very long Don't get me wrong, it's alright on the small fields. So Dolores is delivering our... I'm going to call this video price test. I am. I'm going to call this the price test video. 352,000 for fertilizer for an 80,000 litre trailer load of fertilizer so yeah sorry to the person who has posted the comments on a couple of videos about the TMR TMR ain't the way to go Bye. not for me um, it will be um 
fertilizer. Fertilizer. Fertilizer is the way to go. Fertilizer, seeds, fuel. Those are your big three. Those are the things that make you the most money in game. Selling those. They're more valuable than any crop. I'm going to take this trailer back to the store. I'm going to come grab another, um, as I say, that horse cedar, the 12 meter one. Unless there's another one in the store that takes my fancy. I've got to be a bit careful about what I select cedar planter type thing. Um, because, of course, um, because these fields are so hilly and undulating. I don't want problems where the, um, the cedar will basically um, miss bits of the field. Right. So, Dolores will go to the store. She can choose a cedar to bring back. On her head bit, if she brings back something that doesn't work properly. <laughs> On her head bit. So you've been warned, Dolores. Make sure you bring back a cedar or a cedar that can actually, you know, do hilly fields. There's good old spanners. I haven't brought him any vehicles to repair just lately. Good morning, Dor uh, Doris. Nice to see you, Doris. Um, I've been sent to buy a cedar, uh, a new cedar by Doug. Can you put it on the account? So, cedars. Oh, we've got one of those. Um, I was very tempted to get a condor, you know. Possibly, I might possibly break it up. I know we've been going for a lot of this stuff just lately. I mean, 12 meters is only three meters wider than what I've got now, whereas that is a lot bigger. You know what? Doris, thank you for your assistance, but I think I'm gonna um I'm actually gonna lease the cedar. I'm gonna demo it. I wanna make sure it works if this works and doesn't have any issues planting fields then that's perfectly fine. I might, may not actually get to use this one today now. I'll bring it back to the farm. I can only, I can fill it up, can't I, I suppose. The trouble is I need to get them fields joined together first. I was a bit silly leasing this. And I'm on the wrong side of the road. It's all right blaming the, the, the AI traffic when it drives into me, but when I'm on the wrong side of the road, it's hardly fair to blame it. It's because I play far too many maps where the traffic drives on the wrong side of the road. Right, I've got 10,000 litres of wheat. Now I need some seed. This has gone horribly wrong. I'm in the wrong place. I think there wasn't really enough room for all these big buildings. I know people have made slightly smaller versions of these production buildings. But um, I don't think they, the smaller versions quite look as nice. These definitely look more like, you know. I don't like the production buildings where be, people have basically put the script into basically. Um, you know, something the size of that. So you basically, you, you tip your, your 
your hundreds of thousands of litre of manure into a box that size and it makes fertiliser. I don't find that very believable or realistic, you know. <clears throat> Something maybe about this size as a container would be good. So I actually do still need a tractor, don't I? I mean, Helgi's nearly finished. Um, Doug's going to run down to the store because a tractor purchase is obviously a big, major thing. So it's best if we let the boss buy um, tractors. Especially as it's going to affect our ability to use a plow. Hello, Doris. Nice to see you. You're looking lovely as ever, Doris. You really are. You special, special lady. Right. So we've got a six meter plow. As I say, don't have any mods. So to use a 10 meter plow, I'm going to need something with 550 horsepowers, minimums. Um, does that also need a trailed lifter? I can't remember. The t yeah, the 10 meter one would need a trailed lifter because it's got a three point hitch on it. That affects my ability to buy a lot of tractors in the game. To get 550 horsepower. Um, we're probably looking at a quad track then realistically. Pull a 10 meter plow. <clears throat> For quick plowing and turnaround of fields. Of course, we've got the new 9RT. That goes up to 628. That's a beastly bit of kit. Hmm. However, still doesn't have three point link on the back, so that would be no good. Standard Giants um, 747. Um. I've still got the original version of the Stealth installed. That wouldn't pull it though, that's not powerful enough. Feel Python would go up to 646. Could pull a plow with one of them. Or of course, the big boy, Anaconda. <coughs> Alternatively, we've got, well, we could have the. The 8R's not going to cut it. <clears throat> Put some tracks on a big board. <laughs> Tailor made. Taylor, that's fucking Kaz 64, isn't it? Fallen out with him. Or he seems to have fallen out with me because he doesn't like what I criticise his maps for. <laughs> so he's blocked me from his Facebook group for giving him feedback on his maps and saying that they all look the same and it would be nice if he um, changed his design up a bit. So we've got the original... Could have it with work lights. We can have a three point link on the front. But we can't put a three point link on the back. That's the only downside to the big bud, you know. But we could get it with a, 
absolute beast mode 200 and 2500 horsepower we could get it 1500 horsepower it's probably a bit big and the, the only other the only other option that i've got is maybe the fent tri-6 Sacrilege to get it in Fent Red. I could get that in 1500 horsepower, but it's going to cost me the best part of half a million quid. And then we've not even bought the, um, the plow. It does mean I'm moving away from Case. I've, 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 you know what? I'm going to get the quad track. I've kept with Case all the way through this series. Let's carry on with Case. Shall we? Um, the only other thing to look at is, is do we have any big subsoilers? We don't. 8 metres is only 2 metres slightly wider. Um, although I could plough with some of these items with the plow mod it does actually create the plowed status on the field so i have to have a plow plow and the biggest one i've got in game is the 10.5 if anybody knows of any larger plow mods out there on any of the mod sites or anything that aren't completely unrealistic you know in terms of someone's basically put their speed up to like 50 miles an hour or you know made them you know 100 meters wide or something ridiculous like that please let me know where to find it and get one i would like a a, a slightly better um, like I say, a better plow, a bigger, some bigger plows, options, something a bit above ten meters. But I don't want anything too cheaty. It would also be really useful to have those on my um, server as well, on my Don Diego server, because we're lacking plows on that as well. We really are. Also, I realised my mistake. I don't need the plow just yet. What I do need to do... People are thinking, what are the, uh, what the hell are you doing? You're just giving myself a bit of headland to work in. Okay. Happy. <laughs> just paint all of the alien Jim's grass. Because obviously driving off and turning vehicles round at the end of this row is going to require me to have a bit more room. So the field gets a little bit smaller, but then I gain a little bit back when we make it a little bit wider. Um, I don't have to do it for any of these fields because I've done it, I think, unless I elect... along here just do this bit I don't really want the field stretching into this area down here if I can help it right what we'll do I'll go grab the knockling and I will start getting the, uh, the fields 
cultivated and merged together. So probably when I bring you back for the next video, that'll be done. That whole process will be done. We'll be better off. Helgi looks like he's finished doing planting. So I'll just quickly go and check on him. So anyway, thank you for watching today's video. I hope you've enjoyed the slight, um, like I say, the price testing feature just to put any um, body bodies comments in recent videos to the test once and for all sort of thing people saying oh you need to be making this or you need to be making that I've now tested tested that and um, yeah sorry you, you were wrong <laughs> basically um, TMR is not the best way to make money on this particular map on my particular settings say hard mode start from scratch hard economy TMR isn't as profitable as some of the other things that I've um, been producing but I appreciate you leaving the feedback and I hope you will continue to leave your comments suggestions questions and things like that on the videos I also hope you'll continue to hit that subscribe button if you're not already doing so and I will look forward to seeing you again in the next video but for now from me it is goodbye.